get started. Welcome to yoga. So we're going to begin today actually on our backs. So go ahead and come to lay down for a moment. Well, for more than just a moment, we'll do a few exercises down here, but come on down. Take your time getting there. You can hug your knees into your chest when you get there if you'd like to. Maybe even start rocking gently from side to side on your spine. Just gently, we're just getting started here. Feeling the back body pressing into the floor. It's kind of like a little bit of a massage for the muscles along the spine here. Yeah, deep breath in and out. And bring the knees to stillness. And we're gonna start with a little bit of core work. So holding on to the, the shins or knees, take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, curl your chin in towards your throat, bring your forehead up towards your knees, shoulders lift, stay up for the inhale. And then exhale, release the shoulders and head back down, stay down for the inhale. And exhale, curl back up, chin to throat, forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift, stay up for the inhale. And exhale, shoulders and head back down. We're gonna do that about three more times. When you're ready with an exhale, go ahead and curl on up. Stay up for the inhale. And curl on down. Stay down for the inhale. Just two more times on your own. Moving with the exhale. And then as you curl up this time, go ahead and stay up. Stay lifted, shoulders, the head, and extend your arms forward, palms face up. Really squeeze yourself up, feel the core engaged. Three, two, one, holding onto the knees, release the shoulders and head back down. We're gonna do that again. Go ahead and curl the chin in toward the throat, forehead lifts up, shoulders lift as well. Extend the arms, and this time extend your legs about 45 degrees off the floor, coming into a low boat. Good, breathing here, three, two, and one, knees to chest, release the head and shoulders back down, take an adjusting breath, <clears throat> and then we'll do another exercise similar to that. So go ahead and curl your chin in toward your throat, bring your forehead up toward the knees, shoulders lift, extend the arms and legs, Take a deep breath in here, and as you exhale, bring a knee into your chest, and then switch legs, and then switch legs, and switch, and switch. Keep breathing, switch, 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 switch. Keep the shoulders lifting, switch, switch, switch. Three, two, and one, knees to chest, release on down. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Good. Keeping your knees drawn into your chest, take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape with the body. If there's something in the way of you doing that, you can also do uh, cactus arms, just bending the elbows. All right. So locking the knees together, locking the ankles together, keeping the knees as drawn and close to the body as you can. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, drop the knees to the right, but don't let them touch the ground. Then inhale, come back to center. Then exhale, take the knees to the left. Again, don't let them touch the ground. And then inhale back. Good, again, knees to the right. Try to keep the shoulders grounded here. Inhale back. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale back. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale just a few more times from side to side. And back. And to the right and back and to the left. And as the knees come back to the center from the left side, this time go ahead and hug them in again. 
feel sensation from the movements we've done so far. Hmm. And then when you're ready, go ahead and bring your feet flat to the floor. Have the heels underneath your knees. The feet are about hip width apart. We'll start with some arm movements. We'll add the hips in just a moment. So with your next inhale, lift your hands and fingertips toward the ceiling and all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. Then exhale, reach back up toward the ceiling and bring the arms back down to your sides. Good, again, inhale, reaching the arms up and over. Exhale, reaching the arms up and back down again. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms lower. And let's add the hips now. So lifting the arms like before, pick up the hips, press your pelvis toward the ceiling, bridge pose, inhale. And then exhale, release the arms and hips back down. Again, arms and hips lift. Arms and hips lower, exhale. Try to keep the feet flat on the floor the whole time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. A little bit of movement for the spine here. Keep going. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Just a few more times. Take your time getting there, but as you lift into bridge pose, this time go ahead and stay. Hips pressing up, arms resting overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. And breathing here, again, the feet are flat on the floor. Pelvis is reaching toward the ceiling and the chest is reaching toward your chin, deepening the back bend in your upper back. Relax your throat, relax your jaw, two more breaths. And exhale, release the arms and hips back down. Good, feel. And then go ahead and hug your knees into your chest one more time and hold behind the knees this time. So on top, uh, the backs of the thighs, we'll call it. Good, then curling your chin and toward your throat, forehead up. I'm gonna ask you to rock back to your shoulders and rock up to a seat and then rock back to your shoulders again and rock up to a seat again. And just keep rocking forward and back on the spine. And there is some core engagement here to try to make it a smooth transition up and back. So just do your best with that. Rocking back, rocking forward. Massaging the spine into the floor, engaging the core here. This also helps to circulate lymphatic fluid throughout your body, helping to boost your immune system. And if you let it, it's kind of fun. <laughs> you get out of your head about it, it's kind of fun. Back and forward, back and forward. We'll go just for a little bit longer. Three, two, and rocking up to a seat. Go ahead and cross your legs in the normal habitual cross that you have. Sit up tall for a moment. And then bring the hands to the floor in front of you, keeping the back from rounding too much. Just start to fold over the legs, even if you don't go too far. Staying for one more breath. Good, then come back up. Good job. Let's transition onto hands and knees, please. Table pose. Let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, or just a little bit further back. With your inhale, look forward, feel the tailbone lift. With your exhale, sink back to child's pose. Inhale back up to hands and knees, curl the toes under, exhale downward facing dog. That's our first down dog of the day. So go ahead and walk it out a bit. 
pressing heel to the floor as you bend the opposite knee. All the while keeping length in your spine to so keep the hips reaching toward the ceiling behind you. Lengthening one leg and then the other. Breathing here. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Release the feet, exhale, child's pose. But only for a moment. Inhale, back up to hands and knees. And exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, come forward through the spine into plank pose, straight line push up. And then exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Good, inhale, flowing forward again, plank pose. Exhale back, down dog. A couple more times, inhale forward into plank. Exhale, feel that pull behind your navel that pulls you back into down dog. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Good. Let's take this a step further. Inhale to plank pose. With your exhale, bend your elbows and towards your waist. Bring your chest one inch from the floor. You could also do knees down here. And then press the arms straight, come onto the tops of the feet, take the shoulders back. Knees are lifting here, upward facing dog. And then feel that familiar pull behind the navel that pulls you back into downward facing dog. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, plank. Again, knees could be down here. Bring your chest one inch from the floor. Come onto the tops of the feet. Press the arms straight, take the shoulders back. Knees lift, upward dog. And exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Good, doing that again, inhale, plank. Exhale, one inch from the floor. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Plank pose. One inch from the floor. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, one more time. Plank. One inch from the floor, upward facing dog, pulling back into downward facing dog. Good job. All right. When you get back to down dog, go ahead and walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Knees are slightly bending here and drape the upper body over the legs. Release the head. Let the arms hang heavy. And notice where you're resting the weight of your body in your feet. If it's more toward the heels, just lean forward into the balls of the feet slightly. You'll feel more of a stretch in the backs of the legs and lower back. Two more breaths here. Good. And then bending the knees a bit deeper, go ahead and roll yourself all the way up to standing, single vertebrae at a time. How does the last to lift? <sighs> Welcome to standing. Good morning. <laughs> so go ahead and hydrate if you have a water bottle nearby. So we're gonna move into our arm swings next. This is a three part inhale through the nose and one powerful exhale out of the mouth. That's really coming from the navel here. The version that we'll do today is the version where we drop the body down. So I'll demonstrate quickly for you. My uh, feet are sagging underneath my hips and it'll be inhale, arms swinging up, inhale, arms swinging back, inhale up. And then actually you're gonna bend the knees, drop your body down, sweep the arms behind you to inhale, come up for the next round. Now that was very slow motion. You do it all on one uh, round of breath. So it's inhale, 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 exhale. And we're gonna go for about two minutes. So find a pace you can maintain. You don't have to go as slowly or as quickly as I'm going. Sound good? So stacking the feet underneath the hips. Again, inhale through the nose, three parts and exhale out of the mouth. Here we go. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> 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 
Try to feel the full rotation of the shoulder joints up, back, up, and back. And as you drop down, let the belly hitting the thighs really be the catalyst for pushing the air out of the body. Feeling the navel pull in and up slightly. <laughs> Going for about one more minute. Again, if you need to slow it down, that's okay to do, but I'm gonna encourage you to keep moving if you can. After about 90 seconds, we really start to affect the nervous system, bringing you out of that fight or flight state, helping to calm you down. <laughs> really just helping you to regulate. <sighs> About 30 more seconds. Almost there. Three, two, last one, and back to standing. Oh, feel sensation. Hmm. Really helping to wake you up there. Your breath rate, your heart rate, maybe a clearing of the mind, energy around the navel, tingling in the arms and hands. Good and bringing yourself on back. With your next inhale, sweep your arms overhead. Hold the breath into the top of the inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale through the mouth, release the arms. Again, inhale, reaching up and over. Holding the breath into the top. Three, two, one. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Hold the breath in, three, two, and one. Good. So taking the feet just a little bit wider apart, about as wide as your shoulders. So it's pointing outward slightly. I'm gonna start to have you twist from side to side. Lifting the back heel, letting the arms hit the body, looking behind you as you move. And breathing steadily. Because we're constantly twisting, the breath can become shallow here. So you just have to deepen it when you notice that happening. Side to side. And the arms hitting the body is okay. They're giving a percussion massage to the internal organs and it's also quite grounding, puts you in your body, not so much in your head. We spend so much time in our heads, rightly so. There's a lot to do up there, <laughs> but it's really great to come back to the body sometimes, especially when we're trying to regulate the nervous system because that's where it is, it's in the body. <laughs> so we're gonna go for about 30 more seconds here. Check in with your breath, deepen it if you need to. Three, two, and one, unwind to center, feel, feel, feel. <clears throat> Good. Taking a deeper, fuller breath. We're going to move into a sun salutation next. 
So please step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Have your feet about hip width apart. And this morning we're gonna work with warrior two. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. We'll, we'll find out together. Bring your palms together at your heart. Find your breath, aware of the inhale and aware of the exhale. We'll do our best to move with the breath. So with your next inhale, please sweep your arms down, back, and up and overhead. With your exhale, bend both knees, drop your body down, sweep your arms behind you. Keep the knees bent now as you lift the arms forward and up into chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the knees, reaching up. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Pressing palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold down, and please step your right foot way, way, way back. Back foot flat on the floor, pointing out to the side. Go ahead and bend deeply into the left knee, and then sweep the right arm forward and pinwheel yourself up into warrior two. So it's a nice strong bend of the front knee, wide stance of the legs. Just staying for a couple of breaths this first round, just to feel it. Good, take a deep breath in. And exhale, swim forward, bring the hands to the floor, step back to downward facing dog. From down dog, go ahead and come into plank pose. Exhale, bring your chest one inch from the floor. Again, knees can be down here. And then press the arms straight, take the shoulders back, come onto the tops of the feet, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Stay for a breath. Good, then lift the right leg into the air and exhale, step the right foot all the way between the hands, help it through if you need to. Again, this is a nice wide stance here and bring the back foot flat to the floor, toes pointing out to the side. Bend the right knee deeply, sweep the left arm forward and up coming into warrior two on this side. Again, it's a big uh, bend of the front knee. Good, deep breath in. And exhale, swim forward, step the back foot forward. Good, palms to shins, bring the chest parallel to the ground here, inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides with a strong back, come all the way up. And then release the arms down, palms to heart. Good, let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep. Chair pose. We'll lift, inhale, straightening the legs. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Palms to shins, halfway up, chest parallel to the floor, inhale. And then exhale, fold down. Step the left foot way back, back foot flat to the floor. Warrior two, come on up, lifting the arms and sinking in. Deep breath in here. And exhale, swim forward, step back to downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale. Chest one inch from the floor, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Good, once you get there, left leg lifts. And exhale, step it on through, help it forward. Back foot flat, come on up, warrior. Sinking in. Deep breath in here. And exhale, swim forward, step forward. Palms to shins and exhale down. Sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up and palms to the heart. Good, again, inhale, sweep up. Bend the knees, chair prep, chair pose. Lift and fold halfway up. And down, step the right foot back, back foot flat, warrior two, come on up, sinking in. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, swim forward, step back, downward facing dog. Plank pose, one inch from the floor, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts and steps. Back foot flat, warrior two, come on up and sink on in. Deep breath in here. And exhale, swim forward, step forward. Palms to shins halfway up. And exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up and bring the palms to the heart. Oh, we have time for one more. Inhale, sweep down and up. Exhale, chair prep, chair pose. 
lift and fold halfway up and down left foot steps back foot flat warrior two sink on in good deep breath in and exhale downward facing dog plank pose one inch from the floor upward facing dog downward facing dog left leg lifts and steps back foot flat warrior two come on up and sink on in deep breath in here and exhale swim forward step forward palms to shins halfway up exhale fold down sweeping the arms out to the sides come all the way up in and palms to the heart Good, feel sensation for a moment, your breath rate, your heart rate, and feeling into your body. Good, and then from the standing, from standing up from the posture, go ahead and fold forward into the standing forward fold. And bend your knees to the point where your fingertips can touch the floor if they don't already, all right? And then here, just walk your fingertips to the left side of your left foot. Let the head release. And as you're here, think about straightening the right knee, lifting the right hip toward the ceiling. All right, and then walk the fingertips to center, then walk them to the right side of the right foot. Release the head. And think about straightening the left knee now, lifting the left hip toward the ceiling. Breathe. And then walk the fingertips back to center. Pressing palms to shins, come halfway up. Feel extension in the spine as the crown of the head reaches forward. And then exhale, fold down. Do that two more times. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway up. Exhale, fold. And then sweep the arms out to the side of the strong back. Lift yourself all the way up. Palms to the heart. Taking an adjusting breath here. Bring yourself on back. All right, that is class for today. Thank you so much. I hope you feel nice and awake and better in your body and a bit more grounded, a little less stressed. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you. Namaste.